Welcome to 5th Standard Online Class. In the previous session, we completed book exercise. Today in this session, I am going to write the question and answers for lesson 1. I hope that everyone are having the science note. Take your note and write the question and answer with sufficient space. After school reopen, I will check everyone's note. Lesson 1. Growing plants. Answer the following. First question. What is a seed coat? What is its function? Answer. The outer covering of a seed is called seed coat. It protects the baby plant inside it. Second question. What is germination? List the conditions necessary for germination to take place. Answer. The process by which a seed produces a new plant or seedling is called germination. Air, water and worm are the conditions necessary for germination. Third question. Mention the different ways in which seeds get dispersed. Answer. There are four ways in which Seeds get dispersed. First one, dispersal by wind. Second one, dispersal by water. Third one, dispersal by animals. Fourth one, dispersal by explosion. Fourth question, how can we grow new plants from stem cuttings? Answer, first point, the stem is cut at an appropriate place. Second point, the cut portion of the stem is planted in soil. Third point, the stem cutting grows into a new plant if watered regularly. Last question, differentiate between carif and rabi crops. Give examples of each carif crops. Crops grown from June to October are called carif crops. These crops depend largely on the monsoon rains. Examples rice and maize. Rabi crops. Crops grown from November to April are called rabi crops. These crops do not depend on the monsoon rains. Examples Wheat and legumes. Fifth question. Explain the different stages of agriculture. Answer. There are six stages of agriculture. First one. The field is ploughed. The process of loosening of the soil is called ploughing. This is done by using a plough. Second. Manure or fertilizer are added to the soil for the healthy growth of plants. Third, seeds are sown. Good quality, clean and healthy seeds are selected and sown. Fourth, the crops are sprayed with chemicals called pesticides to protect them from pests. Fifth one, the crops are irrigated, watered. The water is provided at regular intervals. Sixth one, the crops are harvested. The cutting of crops after it is matured. In this session, I completed lesson one successfully. During the next session, I will meet you with an interesting lesson. Thank you.